So we're back at the uh, Chernobyl Memorial Forest. And uh, if you'd seen my previous videos, we did this once before, but we only little, went a little ways up in here. Uh, now I was gonna show you that this parking lot was completely empty, <laughs> but then one car came in before I could make the video because it's a beautiful day here in Florida. And this is, this is what I'm talking about. You know, even though we've got thousands of people moving into the area, they're, there are still hidden secrets around here where you can go hiking and uh, you know we'll, I'll wait on the video what we're gonna do is, is if you looked at that map back there this is actually a, a about a five mile six mile loop and you know my wife and her sister came out here and they didn't like the hike I don't you know I don't know I, I think it's a nice hike uh, easy hike for sure now what I'm gonna do is on up here a ways the trail goes left and uh you know it's i tell you what it's been i've been locked in the house for two days i i don't even know how people in new york or california they, i would have lost my mind if i had to stay in the house any longer than two days and not be able to get out here and go hiking i mean because it's been cold i mean we do have winter here in florida and i mean that wind yesterday was just whipping and uh, it would have been a miserable day to get out of the house uh you know i can always go to the gym the gyms are open here but uh you know, I'm still uh, being a little cautious. The vaccines are coming, so I'm in no hurry to, to get back into the the world with uh, people. Anyway, let's wait till we make that turn, and then I'll get another video to show you what I'm talking about. But, uh, you know, if anybody ever watches these videos, and you know, this is a nice place to hike. Uh, it's really for horses, and, uh, you know, who knows what this is about. I hope they're not building something there. Building, they're building everywhere here, man. I'm telling you, it's terrible. All right. So I wanted to get this real quick. You know, anybody hiking this trail, you, you know, a lot of people just go right, and you can see that looks more like a horse track. Which that hiking through that sand can get hard. Uh, I know the left track here, which is where I'm going, uh, is an easy hike. I've only been up here in the Hero Ways, and there's where we came from down that way. So, uh, but I just, you know, for this hike, since I am going to be making a left off of this trail, just wanted to show you the direction that I'm heading here. So, all right. So like I said, I got this on a previous video, but I want to show you what I look for in a good hike. See how we came through those pine trees, just counting basically down a road. Okay, now we're making the transition into a whole different look and feel. And uh, that's, that's what I look for on a trail, even... I don't know my wife uh, why she didn't like that. Uh, so, but I, uh, you know, it's uh, just just going to show you before we make that left hand turn. That's where we'll start the video up next. But uh, yeah, getting back into the the oak trees here and yeah, a whole different look and feel. Now this whole that this little gravel road is going to end shortly, and then it just turns into grass. I don't ways up. Let's get a look down before I cut the video off. There you go. That's what it looks like. So this is the plan of the day. We'll see what happens. Now you see that red marker on that tree? That's the uh, the five mile loop going around that way. But I wanted to see where that goes. It's not even marked as a trail. But you can see back in there, it might turn into a real sandy horse trail and then I'll have to turn around. But this is the goal of the day. And if that doesn't work out, we'll just do the five mile loop. And I hardly got back in here and here's a, another trail but boy, you'd have to cut through that. But uh, if you had the gear, you know, maybe one day I'll come back with uh, all of my gear on. Uh, probably gonna want the, uh, the snake leggings maybe, and uh, of course the long uh, hiking pants and uh, probably some, some long sleeve covering because uh, you don't know what's hanging out on them leaves right there. But uh, anyway, let's continue on. So this left-hand fork kind of dead-ended. Now you could come over and do do this it looks like it's going i thought this would kind of loop around to the right but this is a this is a total horse trail this would be a tough hike uh i'm just going to go a ways and you know it's good for the ankles you know to be in this uh terrible sand here and uh we'll just go a ways back but uh, this is you know just a total horse trail i mean this wouldn't be a good hike at all well things got different real fast this would be a tough, tough hike unless you're equipped for it. But uh, you can kind of see that even for horses, this uh, would need some maintenance to hike it. Although it looks like they're still doing it. You know, a lot of people 
Well, let's just go just a little ways further, but yeah, this is really muddy. Man, it's been dry here too. I can't believe, but uh, we're just getting right here. I believe it's time to, to turn back. This trail's not looking very promising. Oh well. All right, I kept going and that that fork of the trail just dead ended. I, <laughs> in a way, I, you know, you, you, you wouldn't even want to try to hike through that. And this is the way we came down. So, all right, let's turn around. Well, I just wanted, before I go back to the five mile loop, look at here. This might be a good hike, but instead of going through all of that, I'm gonna go this way instead. And uh, this is where I just came from, and that was a dead end. But uh, this looks promising with that tree. It's a total horse trail, it looks like again, but it's in a lot better shape than what I just came through. And of course, that's the way back to the uh, five mile loop. So this hike is getting interesting. I just came through that and there's another trail going back this way. That might be the one I saw earlier, but we're gonna go this way, which looks like a pretty good hike once we get through all this horse sin. Uh, who knows? Problem is, <laughs> if I have a heart attack or fall out, ain't nobody gonna find me back here. I mean, unless somebody comes with a horse today, which I haven't seen any horses in that parking lot in a while, especially on a cold day like today. But uh, we'll go, go a ways back in here. Let's, this is what, uh, to me, hiking's all about, you know. It's the adventure. You gotta get into wild places that everybody else doesn't go. And see what, and see what you see, you never know. Kinda came to a wild place here. <laughs> Look at this ditch, I mean, I guess a horse could get through there. I know I can't. Well, I guess, you know, if I'm real careful, what I'm coming down this way, but I wanted you to see this water. Isn't that kind of a cool color back in there? I mean, this is uh, it's turning into a neat hike. Uh, that's a little stream running through. Uh, can you see the color of that water? It looks kind of oranges. Can't get too far back in here. Yeah, all right, let's get going. So we are deep, deep back in here. <laughs> I'm gonna forge on further. I'm hearing some gunshots off in the distance. So the hunters, you know, the hunters would have come down this trail because, you know, they got the gear and the equipment. But uh, we'll try to get through there. There's a stream. That stream I saw a while back is just running, meandering along the side. And there, there's not even horses back here. They'd never find my carcass if uh, something happened. <laughs> but let's keep going just a little further. Well, you know, I hate admitting defeat, but uh, I'm gonna have to turn back. It's just, uh, it's too crazy. Uh, you know, if a snake were to bite me back in here or, or even a bear, you know, where are you, where are you gonna run? <laughs> you know? So we'll, we'll head on back to that five mile loop and just get some exercise. I'll take a couple little videos there, but uh, yeah, this got into a kind of a crazy hike. Uh, not even horses have been back in here, of course. Because there's no way you could get them back in here. So someday, uh, with the proper equipment, you could really forge your way through there. Uh, that would be an interesting day. Um, but I was just out to get some exercise today and a little bit of adventure. So we got enough adventure now. Let's let's go back to just hiking. So these videos are as, for me as much as for you, because <laughs> I might have to go back and review them to figure out where the hell I'm at. But uh, that's where we just came from, and uh, this is how we came in. I can remember that. And I'm going to go this way for a ways, total horse trail again. But uh, we'll just go down here a ways and see if it goes anywhere. Got a ways down the trail, but you can see it's tightening up on me. This would be a, maybe a horse can get through here. But uh, it's, uh, well, hopefully we're going to keep going. But um, I'm looking like I may have to turn back again. It's getting, uh, this uh, portion of the hike here at Chernobyl is just, uh, well, it's, it's, it needs work, let's just, say, <laughs> let's just say that. Well, I thought it might be. That was that trail I saw coming in, if you can call that a trail. And that's the one we, we went down and explored. I, no need to go down there again. And we're going back onto the five mile loop and uh, up here a ways, there's gonna be another turn back into the forest and we'll take that today. So if you look at the red marker, trail's going that way. And uh, 
this is that second left that I was telling you about. So, you know, it's all about the adventure for me. You know, and this this is where we came from. Now I can, yeah, I guess comments on uh, on uh, Chernobyl here. Let me get a selfie. <clears throat> so, you know, there are no places, no places to sit down. There's no, no porta john. <laughs> you know, you know me on, on the bathrooms. I'm I always want to be near one. Uh, now just down the road there, at the damn diner, uh, there's a couple of uh, bathrooms down there if you need them. So, but we're taking this left-hand fork. You know, once again, <laughs> nobody gonna gonna find me back here. So, but it's still, gosh dang, what a beautiful, beautiful day. If that wind was blowing, I wouldn't be out here. I mean, but luckily the wind's not blowing, so it's not too bad. All right, we'll cut it off right there. So the left-hand fork is taking a left-hand fork. And that's where we came from. And so I'm gonna go this way. But I just wanted to, I'm gonna be quiet and just let you enjoy why I do all of this. Uh, one's for exercise. I mean, my God, if I had to sit in my house, I would, well, and mental, you know. But uh, let me just be quiet and let you enjoy the sound of nature. Okay, so the trail has finally made the turn. I could see where, you know, somebody might not like the hike, but I absolutely love it. I mean, you're back here all by yourself. I mean, it's, uh, I mean, there's nothing special about it, you know. Uh, it's just kind of hiking a road. That's Well, those two left-hand trails back there just basically made a loop and came back, you know, the, the second one made a loop and came back onto the the second trail and then you just hike back to the main trail here but I wanted to get this little piece of video because the sun's behind me now and that's how I know that I've, I've made the turn and I'm going back east now so but I mean you know you, it's a it's nice scenery what's wrong with this why did my wife say this was a, a nothing hike and you know you can see the pine trees this is the memorial you know the Chernobyl Memorial Forest and you know, I, I bet this was all just farmland before they planted all these. It looks like they, they just planted them because you can see it looks like a row just going straight back. But uh, I'll take another video when we head back that way. And uh, that'll probably be it for the day unless I see something unique. But that's just kind of what it looks like. It doesn't change much. So it's not all about staying on the trail. Check him out. There you go. And uh, I just went off trail just for a little bit just to get back in here but boy wouldn't this be great to just if you could cut this in real easily oh look at him look at him there he is all right okay enough of that but you could cut this in and put a nice picnic table you know right back in here for, for bus I'm probably about the halfway point and uh, it would be nice just to sit here and you know maybe you might see that right there all right that's enough of looking at the bird went off trail again to check this out big 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 ditch here you know kind of what I'm seeing I just thought this was cool so I, I went off trail again but uh, and that's that little ravine but look at this I mean the trail is just right up here well you could put a nice little picnic area in here a couple picnic tables maybe a little shelter you know wouldn't this just be awesome? But I'm going to go on down this way and see where that goes. I'm going to have to make two videos out of this. But this is this is a, probably that horse trail that I showed you a while back. You know, that said it would be a real tough hike. And uh, no, this is continuing on this way. Of course, you got that tree laying across. But it uh, looks like it could be a trail heading back this way. We're just going to go a ways back. Day's getting long at this point. Definitely turned this into a nice hiking trail, but kind of at a dead end. I... I don't feel like getting my feet wet. You know, maybe someday I'll bring my uh, my booties back here, get across this, and continue on uh, that way to see where it goes. But uh, you can see we just came on down in here a ways just to see what this looked like. So I'll head on back to the main trail.
All right, this darn video is getting too long, but I kind of wanted to show you. We are heading back to the, uh, we've made the, the turn and come around the loop. And I can see why, you know, my wife and her sister didn't like this portion of the trail. This is getting very, you know, it's real sandy, kind of kind of tough on the ankles, uh, hiking through this sand. Now, if you just get over to the side over here, I don't think it's going to be a bad hike, you know, because the horses pretty much stay out in the middle over there. Um, but uh, anyway, this is, uh, we'll get one more when I get to the, the end of the loop here. So I always try to get it when there's a different look. So, so come on into a grassy area here, just, just, a, just a different look on the trail. And the trail's continuing on down this way. So I thought I'd get a look at this. There's a plane up there flying and check out that bright sun. Isn't that beautiful? And here's another trail, but uh, that would be a sandy hike. But boy, it's, uh, what a treasure it is back here at Chernobyl. And of course, you can see <laughs> I'm over by myself. Who knows uh, what critters I might run into. But let's, uh, let's keep on going. So we did get a turn here, but uh, that'd be really tough to hike. I'm not even going to try it today. Um, and that's where I came from, and uh, that's where we're going. But, you know, for horses, I wonder where that goes. Yeah, maybe someday come back and hike it to, to be good. Be good on the legs, you know. When you get into that deep sand, it's just like, uh, you know, work going to the gym and just doing that, that up and down thing. It'll, it'll get your legs good and tired. So this kind of makes you wonder. I only get the unique stuff. Looks like there used to be a fence here. Maybe that's a little corral because the posts kind of go back that way. But, uh, you know, just a, another summary of the trail here is uh, if you do come out here and you just want an easy hike, just take the left fork. And uh, and that's, you know, it's a pretty pretty even uh, road. But this, this the, the right fork here, because uh, I'm on my way back to the where, the, where it forks, uh, is really horsey. It's not too bad. I mean, I don't mind it, but uh, but I could see where... You know, if you're if you just want to get out and do a hike and not fight your way through the sand where the horses have been through, that uh, that would make sense. And here's another fence over here. So okay. So I guess that's it for the Chernobyl Memorial Forest. If you do do this hike and you come into this fence, just know that if you go to on the right fork uh, of the loop, it's a very very horsey trail. A lot of tough sand to hike through. Uh, it's a pretty good. I'm I'm feeling feeling tired. But if you just take this left loop and go up maybe a couple of miles before you know when the trail makes the turn, going back this way, you could just turn around and just come back down that trail and have a nice easy hike. That wasn't very horsey at all. So uh, you know, and it's it's never a complete video if uh, if I don't get political that and I saved it for the very last. So cut it off, cut it off, cut it off quick. <laughs> Anyway, Como's getting his come up, and he killed so many people in New York, and they covered the whole thing up. Media wouldn't report on it, and it's uh, the Attorney General, a Democrat no less, <laughs> published the report that the numbers that he killed in the nursing homes is more than double what's, what it had been reported. You know, remember seeing those body bags outside the hospitals, and you know, I mean, it is just so much worse. I mean, Trump had those uh, outdoor hospitals that they never even used. Remember, we, they put it up right there in Central Park. They also sent the hospital ship, and they never used that. Instead, they took the COVID patients and stuck them into the assisted living facilities and nursing by decree, okay? That, that was an order, and a lot of doctors and nurses, they said, you know, we don't want to do this. We can't do this. And by law, they were required to put those COVID patients in there. And so many, many thousands of people died. Finally coming out, Hopefully uh, there'll be some sort of investigation. Uh, imagine if that was DeSantis or a Republican governor that did that. Man, that would have been all over the news. Alrighty, peace out.